Corcon provides an optional integration with a takeoff software called Stratosphere by Tally Systems. Stratosphere is a cutting edge cloud platform that gives estimators unprecedented freedom to complete takeoffs from anywhere with next generation takeoff and markup tools. If you have your own Stratosphere subscription, it is easy to integrate with CoreCon estimating. There's a few important things to remember. At the moment, Stratosphere does not support multiple users per firm, so an individual login must be linked to a CoreCon account. Thus, CoreCon users working on an estimate will use the same Stratosphere login. Before logging into Stratosphere, a leader project and an estimate should initially be set up in CoreCon, adding information, the related drawings, and items. Remember that a CoreCon lead or project is also a Stratosphere project. If you upload drawings to CoreCon, those will be transferred to Stratosphere documents and the CoreCon estimate line items will become Stratosphere layers. The View Stratosphere button you'll see in CoreCon at the top right at your Estimate Items tab should only be used when Stratosphere is not open. Clicking this button will open the appropriate linked project in Stratosphere. Remember that a layer in Stratosphere designates a type of measurement such as linear, area, or count, and may contain one or more measurements from different documents. To set up your Stratosphere login credentials in CoreCon, you must first log in as an administrator, then click Settings, and then Feature Settings, Estimating, and complete the Setup Digitizer login information, including your password, and click Save. You could also, in Global Settings, simply click on the Digitizer option and enter the same information. Digitizer Credentials in CoreCon is the only setup required. Let's go back to CoreCon Home. Notice that I've already set up a lead. However, this process works the same under Projects and Estimating. I've set up a new lead. I've added my drawings. And if I go to Estimates and RFP Packages, I've already started a new estimate. Let's open that estimate. Notice that you will need to check the box on the Estimate Property Details page. Click on the Use Digitizer for Estimate, and then click Digitizer Setup for Estimate. I'm going to select the drawings, which I've already uploaded, and click Close and then finish. Now let's take a look at the estimate. You'll notice that my estimate cost codes have already been added. If I go over to items to each of those cost codes, I've added at least one takeoff line item. Notice that there are different types of units of measure. There's each, linear foot, square foot. In Sync Fusion, these line items will show up as layers and the unit of measure is an option to do your takeoff counts as a count, as linear, or as area. There's two ways to add these layer options to your takeoff line items. Let's take a look at the first one, which is a each or count. So let's open that item. Can set these up. We'll create a layer in digitizer. In this case, since the unit of measure is each. This is going to be a count. But notice you have count, linear, and area. So we'll choose count and click create layer. We'll go back to the items. You can also select items and add them using the global changes option. So let's do these that are linear. So these are linear foot. We'll go to global changes. Select the action, scroll down, and we're going to create a linear layer in Stratosphere and click Apply Changes. We have two that are square foot. 
So we'll also add them using the global changes option. So that would be create area layer in stratosphere. Click apply changes. We've got one more. We'll create layer and digitizer. Since this unit of measure is each, this will also be a count. And then back to items. Now that we've added our digitizer links, I have the view set to cost codes only. And under these cost codes, I have at least one item that since they've already been set to digitized, I also have an option over here at the special filter to see items with the digitizer link. When you're ready, click view in stratosphere and log in. We can see the stratosphere has already created the new project from the information we've provided through CoreCon estimating. Under documents, it's already added the one drawing. If we go to layers, all of the estimate items have been imported as layers. Let's open the document and set the scale. I see that the scale is one quarter inch to one foot. So I'm going to put in 0.25 to one foot. And notice that when I click save scale, Stratosphere converted that to one inch equals four feet. Same thing. Let's zoom in a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is take the items that we've created that are that are set to count. For example, the wood doors. We'll select the background color. We can select line thickness, font size, the symbol size, and so on. I'm just going to use this one option. We'll select the layer. and the color, select the color, and we need to tell Stratosphere that we're counting. So we'll, sw we'll switch to that option in the toolbar, and we'll just put a little mark next to each one of these doors. And as we do, Stratosphere is counting. We also have a count for the water closet, so we'll switch over to that and we'll switch colors. Tell Stratosphere in the toolbar, this is a count. We'll just put a little mark next to each one of those, just so we know we counted them. You'll notice the count has been added. You want to see a longer description, just hover over the layer that you're looking for. Let's jump down to the quarry tile. Since this is by the square foot, this is going to be area. We'll do this entire area at one time. Change the color. Make sure that Syncfusion knows that this is an area we're marking off. And I'm just going to go in here and mark the. And if I touch back on that layer item, I can do the other area. It does keep these separate. Next, we need to mark the exterior walls. So we'll select that item. This is going to be linear. We'll select another color. I'm going to click back on that item again. 
we'll just say that these are going to be exterior walls as well. And then we'll do the same thing for the interior walls. If you look at the description, the, inter the difference is that the interior walls have drywall on both sides, including finishing, but not painted. So the interior walls, again, are going to be aligned, but we need to change the color. Since these are by the linear foot, the item's already set at 10 feet. And just click back on the item when I'm ready to stop adding counts. Now let's go back to Corcon. Notice that I had already set the individual line items to a quantity of one. We'll select all, go to global changes, and we're going to update measurements from Stratosphere and click apply changes. The different counts, the counts, the linear footage, and the area quantities have all been imported into this estimate. If you'd like to know more about the information in this training video, we encourage you to go to the CoreCon knowledge base, down to integration and public APIs, to digitizer, and stratosphere. This knowledge base article includes all of the information in this training video, as well as some other options that you have. As you're using the Stratosphere Digitizer for on-screen takeoffs.